Today we're talking about the best fragrances in each category. There are four categories. Fresh, floral, woody, and ambery. You have to start somewhere and there's a thousand fragrances in each category. Like, as a beginner in fragrance, what are you supposed to do? I'm helping you guys out today. These are the best designer fragrances. We're sticking specifically to designer, slightly more affordable. This is intended to be the perfect starting point for people that are trying to figure out what they like, kind of know the category, but need guidance in terms of the specific fragrances. Let's start with the freshies. I have two in each category. They vary across the spectrum. We're gonna start with Mont Guerlain Bloom of Rose EDT. This is a fresh, rosy, slightly citrusy take on the classic Mont Guerlain, which I love this. I wear this all year round. It is the perfect feminine signature scent. It is one of the best designer fragrances that exist in the world, in my opinion. It just ticks all the boxes. It makes you feel so good when you wear this. Like, the original Mont Guerlain is about lavender and vanilla. Now you have rose, a very bright, juicy, fresh rose, not like a deep, sweet rose. You have bright citrus notes, a little bit of neroli. It makes it sexy, it makes it feminine, it makes it like flirty and perfect for every day, just an easy grab and go. But if you want something a little bit more aquatic, you like freshies, but you don't really want citrus or floral in there, I highly recommend Ocean Di Gioia from Armani. This is the best of the Aqua Di Gioia range. Aqua Di Gioia is very nice too, but I love the ocean. This has pear. It gives you that seaside breezy feeling. It makes you feel so refreshed and so clean. I think this is the perfect fragrance to wear to the gym. You're just gonna smell like you just got out of the shower. Like you didn't even sweat. Did you even sweat during your workout? You smell amazing. Now, two different kinds of florals. A very sexy, flirtatious evening floral and the very clean, pure, you know, innocent floral. Let's start with the pure one. This is Snow White in a bottle. It's just a gentle, feminine, white floral, plushy scent, a lot of gardenia you know, two bros, the classic white florals. This fragrance has been accused of smelling aged. I will not say the dreaded word. I don't agree at all. It is beautiful, creamy, and it feels so good putting this on in the evenings, like fresh out of the shower as well. You feel creamy, you feel like you have lotion on with the scent, and you feel so feminine and just like, like you're in your element, really and sexy too. It's like an innocent sexy. Well, this is a little bit more of a sexy minx. This is like orange flower, vanilla, a lot of like deep orangey floral notes. It's uh, It's been reformulated, but it's still good. You guys are not gonna see Alien in this list. I used to love Alien. Alien has been destroyed. I will not talk about it again, unfortunately. If you can get old Alien, old Alien is the bomb. Old Alien until death for me, but I'm not talking about it because it's ruined. Um, Armani Code, Still amazing. This is just a like a rich, deep, perfect for date night. I'm picturing like dim lights, you know, like you came home and your husband surprised you with like this amazing candlelit dinner. And it's a very cozy scent, it's very comfortable, it's familiar, so like it's, for me it's like, it's a cozy love kind of um, scent. But you know, you guys still keep the spark alive. That's what this is. Heading over to our Amberies. Our Amberies are gonna be Coco Noir. This is more serious. She goes to the office, she doesn't smile a lot. Um, but you know, she's a softie at heart. This is, this is who it's for. And it's a perfect signature scent. It doesn't throw too much. It stays pretty close, like about a foot and a half. It's spicy. I get a lot of clove in here. There's patchouli, there's rose, slight touches of citrus. It's resinous and it's deep and it's just so satisfying. Like it's just the perfect kind of like spicy, ambery scent. Very, very elegant. Chanel can do no wrong. Next is the YSL Libre Le Parfum. This has the added ginger note, so you still have that lavender and vanilla combo that this fragrance is known for, but you have added ginger and saffron. It gives it a bit of heat, a bit more like fire, you know, it's a, a lot sexier. This is not an office appropriate scent, I would say. While this one is, this one does create a lot more of a scent bubble. This is a perfect like date night scent. I would suggest this for a first date, a Tinder date, a blind date, what have you. I think this really leaves a lasting impression. And moving on to our woodies. <laughs> Gucci Rush. I think this might be discontinued, but it is still the best. If you can find it, please get it. This is a bit of a polarizing scent. So it has patchouli, it has a lot of uh, floral facets. 
it has a sweetness and a plasticky vibe. And this is like, I'm gonna say it. This is a hot girl with big fake boobs. And lastly, but certainly not leastly, this has been a favorite of mine for ages. It is Banana Republic Black Platinum. It's probably the most affordable fragrance in this list and absolutely one of the best. This has an interesting note of cactus or cactus flower. It has leather, but it's very smooth. Not like a sharp leather or anything. Just gives it a, like a, like a woody vibe. Like it's very fresh. It's, it's a lot fresher than the notes make it look. There's pink pepper. It's kind of like a Narciso vibe. If you're familiar with Narciso Rodriguez fragrances, this could be like a, like a Le Claw version of that. Like just a crystal clear, like bright, fresh, almost watery, but woody at the same time. Super unique. I think there's a bit of orange flower in here too. Like I really haven't smelled anything quite like this. It feels a bit metallic. It's actually like so fresh and watery that it almost, like it makes me think of silver. Like it makes me think of something metallic. I just think it's incredible. It's a bit mossy, it's woody, it's fresh, it's hip. I can never say enough good things about this. This will be a signature scent of mine for ages. Niche quality, but Banana Republic, who would have thunk it? So I hope this video gave you a great starting point to explore the categories that you guys like, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, bye.